Good evening to you. Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your hurricane outlook and discussion for the 15th of October, 2017. Hopefully you're having a good Sunday evening. Let's talk about Hurricane Ophelia getting ready to transition into post-Hurricane Ophelia, post-tropical. And what does that mean? It is it's transitioning from a warm core, latent heat-driven heat engine over the warmer Atlantic waters down here and farther south and west from there to a more atmospheric driven where the energy is derived from the atmosphere interacting with the low pressure area and giving it, it, it its energy that way. And it's hard to explain, but you know what? The bottom line and what it matters most is you folks here in Ireland and possibly up here in the northwest corner of the UK you're going to see hurricane conditions down here especially, tropical storm conditions from there. And that's what really matters is the impact. So it's transitioning now. I'm going to show you some interesting satellite shots. Large wind field, so this is going to impact a very large area. And uh, the marine uh, effects down here on the coast, storm surge, big waves. They're going to knock rocks and boulders into the air. So anybody going down there to film this, please be very, very careful. Do not let your curiosity outweigh what should be a natural fear of you know, impending danger if you're out here trying to film this. And of course, this is a very interesting and rare phenomenon, so I can't blame people for wanting to witness it across this region. But just please be very careful in doing so. And be prepared that you may lose power for an extended time. It's hard to gauge exactly what's going to happen because this hasn't happened on this scale since 1961. And so it's pretty rare. And so it's hard to know precisely what will eventually be the result and the overall impacts. But between now and tomorrow afternoon, Monday, local time, uh, this is going to impact Ireland. And then from there overnight, Monday into Tuesday, parts of the northwest portion of the United Kingdom. Now, this is what it looked like yesterday. Uh, very well-developed, central dense overcast, a wheel, if you will, with a hole in the middle, round in its nature, so it was very compact and energetic, and it was a Category 3 hurricane, uh, setting some records, all that good stuff, right? So now it's past the Azores, which is here, uh, that's moved on past the area, and this is what it looks like today, just a little while ago. Now this is in the edge of the domain of the GOES satellite, and so it's harder to see, and the edges are jagged, but you can see that the organization of it is clearly different, right? And so that shows you that it's making that transition into more of a baroclinic system, an extra tropical system. Uh, this is cold air in the atmosphere, all these squiggly looking clouds here. This is colder air. Uh, you still have the warm, you know, struggling warm core of the system and all that's doing battle temperature differences. And it's different than the way it was when it was over the open, warmer tropical or subtropical, as it were, Atlantic. Now, this is a cool satellite perspective. Uh, this comes from the Meteosat, and a gentleman off of Twitter suggested this, and I appreciate that. You know who you are. And uh, you can see right there, pretty well-defined center, some convective activity off to the southeast, but that's probably going to change. And uh, most of the rain is going to be on the northwest side, and the wind and the worst effects here on the southern part of Ireland. And as we look at the GFS from this morning's run, we put this into motion. This is in universal time, so UTC there. Finally, looks like tomorrow at around 10 or 11 UTC, this comes across portions of Ireland, the heaviest of rainfall up on the northwest part of the storm, but a very strong southeast to southerly wind uh, along that southern coast and southwest coast of Ireland. Be ready for it. It's headed your way with some pretty big impacts overall. Um, not very heavy rainfall, and it'll be moving very fast. But the wind damage could be rather substantial. I'm going to be very curious to see how this ends up. And luckily it moves on out of the picture. And the low pressure area begins to fill. And the gradient, the difference between low pressure and high pressure, relaxes enough as it does so that the winds will calm down. But it's going to be a quick in and out system uh, for Ireland and portions of the northwest United Kingdom, maybe up into Scotland. Yeah, it's coming your way, what was once Hurricane Ophelia. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic Basin, let me just go back to the National Hurricane Center homepage 
I did want to show you Invest Area 92L, up to 50% chance for development. And this is what the development region, if you will, looks like. And notice, way up here on the corner of the map, there's Ophelia getting ready to go off the map, literally. But here is this development area of 92L. Not to worry in the Carolinas, elsewhere, maybe Bermuda with some inclement weather, but nothing strong. Uh, don't let the shape and the aim of this fool you. There's a strong frontal boundary coming that's finally going to bring fall to the southeast, literally, and not just on the calendar. And uh, so what is this all about? Well, let me show you on the GFS if we look at the Western Atlantic domain. And this is the energy right here coming up at the 5,000 foot level over the next few days. And you can see it's real messy and just like a bunch of blobs of energy instead of anything round and consolidated. And you got that frontal boundary through here. In fact, there's the front there moving across and it sweeps this out to sea so that it does not have a chance. There's no way, no way at all this is going to develop and then come into the United States. It just can't do it. You got all this energy coming in here from the continent, sweeping off into the Atlantic, and it'll take this energy out to sea. So let's do this. Let's pause it when it looks like it's at its so-called strongest, if you will. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, if we just look at 24 hours out, you know, not much energy there at all. Very, very messy, sloppy, no big deal. We continue on out into time uh, at 48 hours. Again, pretty much the same. A lot of energy up here, some here. All discombobulated. The front's coming off the southeast coast. High pressure building in. Fall conditions finally arriving. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s at night, 60s and 70s during the day. And whatever develops out here, very disorganized, tangled up with the front, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, except Bermuda, which is right there. Showers, rain. Hey, you need the fresh water, right, to fill the cisterns, so why not? But it's going to be kind of ugly with this passing through. Maybe a little windy, some of those wind barbs in there, 30, 25, 30 knots or so. So just be ready for that. Otherwise, the tropics are going to be calming down in the Atlantic Basin. The western Pacific becoming more active with expected typhoon activity out that way, which has been very slack this year so, so, so far. So the main emphasis tomorrow will be on Ophelia. So in the morning... I'll do an early morning update, and we'll see what's happening with Ophelia. We'll actually go in and read a few discussions out of uh, Great Britain and uh, Ireland from the different weather offices there and see what they're saying. That'll be interesting. And on social media, this will be quite the phenomenon to track as well because a lot of people will be talking about it from Ireland and vicinity. So uh, you can tag me at Hurricane Track on Twitter, and I can share anything that you wish to post. But, again, please be careful out there. It's never ever worth your safety to get that dramatic shot of dramatic nature happening. You need to be very careful if you're out there. Like I said, I sympathize with you. It is really interesting. It's fascinating. But I like that expression, don't let your curiosity outweigh your fear. I learned that from a movie that came out this past spring. And I like that expression. It makes a lot of sense. All right, that's it for me for now. Uh, have a great rest of your Sunday evening. Again, I'm Mark Suttoth for HurricaneTrack.com. I'll have more for you early tomorrow morning.